Joaquin Godoy is an artist, but he is also much more than that. In the military, I was a topographic engineer. I used to make maps. And I remember one time that I had a whole bunch of positives, uh, film positives laying around. I was on a light table, and I said, why not put an image divided by grids and make a separate painting of each combining a whole painting? Today, he dedicates the majority of his time to the pursuits of art and knowledge. Da Vinci used to get a lot of his inspiration from looking at serendipitous shapes. And uh, nature is full of little calling cards if we only have eyes to see. We have to paint as we see. When I first look at something, I don't see the, the, the details. I see the main object. Later on, I start seeing the, the details and I make out. The art of painting, the art of drawing, actually is not that complex. The secret, I think, in many things is to take something that is overwhelmingly complex or we get a lot of visual information and to break it down to something simple. A skilled and prolific painter, he is also a student of anatomy. When I saw some of the sketches that Michelangelo did for the Sistine Chapel, that completely changed my life. And from then on, I said, I want to be an anatomist. I want to depict a human figure and I felt a very pure, a very holy uh, connection with a human form. Uh, the, the human figure is made up of a whole symphony of cylinders, rectangles, triangles, and it's, it, it's just, I think, one of the most beautiful creations. Ever since I was little, I've always had a fascination with the skull. It's got a beautiful architecture, really. If you look at it, nothing is wasted. Everything is for a reason over here. Uh, it encases, I believe, the most complex computer in the universe. As well as a mentor and a teacher. And usually when I have a student, I have them paint or draw a skull. Usually that's the end for the student. I don't see that student anymore because the wealth of information it has. He is even a philosopher and a scholar, able to speak at great length about many subjects, from science to faith. Well, Francis Bacon wrote, a little science is strangest man from God. A lot more science brings them together. But remember, as the universe is expanding, E equals MC squared, the relativity of time, and the relativity of different light speeds and gravity, which is the correct time period. And God said, let there be light. Only when the universe became less dense was photons able to separate. And God separated light from darkness. Same identical reality in different interpretations or different explanations. That's what it is. Ultimately, like Michelangelo who inspired him, Joaquin Godoy is a renaissance man. When we draw human emotion, uh, a philosophy, uh, a belief, and we put it in an image where it evokes something, I believe that has great value.